Hi, my name is Jean. I'm from Maximo Support Team in Sydney. In today's video, I'd like to introduce how to make a VNM sync on task work with custom attributes. So what's VMM? VMM is short for a two-man manager. It's actually the component defined in WebSphere site rather than in Maximo. VMM is a shared component which could be used to define organizational entities such as users, organizations, and group. What's VMM sync contask? As you know, this is one of the out-of-box contasks defined in Maximo site. This contask makes contact with WebSphere VMM via API calls. The second point I'd like to mention is any users using WebSphere are possible to use this contask. And this is a one-way synchronization, which means if you remove users from maximum side tables, this kind of change won't be brought back to AirDap side. The last point is, in order to make VMM sync works, you should make sure the users and the groups are visible from WebSphere federated repository first. Next, I'd like to demo some basic steps to make VM sync contask support custom attribute. So currently, I have a, a VM sync contask instance created. It's in active status. Here is the definition for the user mapping. And I paste the value here, and we can see it clearly. The last attribute here, accompany, is the custom attribute. This one hasn't yet been added to the VMM schema. So what kind of error we can see from the log file? Let's take a look. So here it is. Error message. The synchronization failed because the company feature couldn't be recognized by person account entity. So to fix this error, we need to open a command window, go to the bin directory of WebSphere, and first type in this command, VS admin. So we um, provide the username and password, we will connect to the admin mode. And here we need to end the company attribute to VNM schema. The full line command I've copied here to make it easier, I just paste it here. It means ending the company attribute, string type, and the person account entity. So it take a couple of seconds to finish this action. Here we go. They say this feature property was successfully ended to the entity person account. Once this finished, we need a, we could also go to the actual file to see the change. Go to the folder you install the WebSphere if you server. Go to and profiles, deployment manager. So we need to go to config, sales, quite deeper directories. And uh, we could see the timestamp here, this file being updated. When we check the content of this file, we can see, yes, company, this line being ended to this file. So after change we down to the configuration file, we need to go to WebSphere console to synchronize the nodes. So system administration, there is a notes menu. Okay. Bring it again. Admin. 
select the notes, do the full resynchronize. After this being done, we need to restart the maximum server from here. Restart. This will bring the change back to the in memory and uh, the company attribute will be recognized by VM synchrotron task. So we just waiting for the restart finish. Looks good. So maybe we need to log in again. Waiting for the cron task take action at least once. The frequency is every one minute. So yeah, it's already uh, have once action. We go to the local file. So previously the synchronization is failed, so the Synchronize the user number is zero. After the change, we refresh log file and grip the messages again. Look, here we have total number of synchronized user is nine. And the previous error, there is no the same error here, which means the company attribute be recognized. That's all. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it will be helpful.